uh, as well until we can sort this out. Well, with me now, one of his backbench colleagues who does have a different view on these things, Liberal MP Trent Zimmerman. Thank you Good very much David. for your How time. You? So, what do you say then to that suggestion that we should be, at the very least, suspending the refugee program right now? Well, I think actually we can be extraordinarily proud of our refugee program and uh, I think that what we have done as a nation is put in place very effective vetting in relation to, for example, the intake that we announced that we would uh, bring from Syria. Uh, there have been uh, extraordinary lengths to make sure that the 13,000 visas that have been issued have gone to people that aren't going to pose a security risk to our country and that's the appropriate way to handle situations such as this. But to suggest that basically you should ban an entire class of people because of their ethnicity, their nationality or their religion is something that I think is completely at odds with the liberal values well, that are in our democracy. Okay. To be fair, George Christensen is not talking about uh, banning people based on religion or ethnicity. He was uh, highlighting national security and also the cost to welfare, to the budget of bringing in uh, all the refugees we're scheduled to over the next decade. Well, I think that uh, the suggestion that we should ban people by, on the basis of what country they come from goes to the heart of banning people according to their nationality. Uh, and uh, what I would say is, is that I think that our refugee program has been phenomenally successful, leaving aside whatever moral obligation that we have to assist people in these dire situations. Uh, the facts are that uh, overwhelmingly refugees who come to this country make an extraordinarily positive co contribution to our future. And so, therefore, so, I mean, you saw, uh, the you saw your, that your we prime have, minister which is today. Basically, to, okay. to um, accept refugees up to fourteen thousand a year, I think, is is the right level. So, when you saw the prime minister today refusing to criticise Donald Trump for his policy, what's your reaction? Do you criticise the U.S. president over this? Well, I think the first thing to be said is is that any prime minister, any national government, has to, as one of its highest priorities, maintain a strong relationship with a country that is our key economic, cultural and security partner. And secondly, if we do have disagreements with the United States, we have to work out what is going to be the most effective way to convey them as a head of government, as a, as a Prime Minister. And I think that uh, what the Prime Minister today uh, was to make quite clear what Australia's approach is, that we will maintain our non-discriminatory immigration yeah. policy, support multiculturalism, and people can draw the compare and contrast from, from that example. Uh, what I okay, would so say, you're, you're uh, not a, as an individual, yeah, you're not a national leader, so yeah, you indeed. can speak, uh, I guess, a bit more <laughs> indeed, frankly. That is right. And uh, what I'd say as an individual is that I share a lot of the concerns that have been raised about what we've seen in the United States over the last week. Uh, at one level, it is the chaotic way in which the uh, new executive order has been implemented, uh, which has caused unnecessary harm and grief to people who had legitimate visas to uh, travel to the United States, uh, to return to the United States created confusion for dual citizens around the world and so on. At the other level, um, there is nothing wrong with the President of the United States saying he wants to review the way in which people travelling to the United States are, are vetted. Uh, but what concerns me is basically placing things like an indefinite ban on, on refugees coming from Syria, which is just in such a dire situation. Uh, I was disappointed that uh, he announced that uh, the United States would be cutting in half its annual refugee intake. Uh, we need America to be a beacon for democracy, for tolerance and the type of values that we want all up countries to uphold. And so I think that uh, the United States government has to look at its own actions through that prism and the type of message it's sending around the world. Trent Zimmerman, Liberal MP, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Good to talk to you. Thanks, David. All right.